Today's question we'll be tackling here on Gothically Yours, Professor M. How to deal with non-Goths in explaining the Goth subculture. This is also about dealing with people who ask questions like, why are you dressed like that when Halloween is over? Join me. So now you've got me in my academic mode, so I'm going to put on my academic glasses and I'm going to make a little, little academic lecture out of this. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to deal with individuals who need that little bit of explanation about why you're dressed like this and why you're enjoying it and as I had said before, don't you know that Halloween is over? Uh, yes. And these are questions that come up and goths have to deal with them. So I'm going to share two elements before I begin my speech. The first one is kindness and attitude. Okay, The way that you deal with somebody who has just asked that question will make a world of difference. Okay, You need to be very, very calm and very academic and use a lot of common sense when replying it. The more kindness you put out there on that question to explain the goth subculture and to explain things to them, you might win somebody over immediately. And another element is to explain to them the differences between goth, gothic, and dark aesthetics. Okay, so breaking that into two different parts, if you want to know all about behavior and how to act as a goth, there is an extremely good book I highly recommend and I've given it an A++ uh, as a professor on being well written and beautifully illustrated and I will leave a link in down below to my book review on that. It is Myths Manners Guide to the Gothic Charm School, How to Behave uh, as a Goth and How You Should React with Other People While Being One. Okay. Another important element is we have a goth brother who did probably one of the most beautiful and outstanding explanations of three elements, goth, gothic, and dark aesthetics. His name is Kai Decadence, and I love the way that the, the video explains it. So Jillian Venters wrote this book, and Kai did a beautiful job on explaining uh, about how to separate the worlds that other people on the outer world who do not understand our world and do not understand dark aesthetics need to be educated about. So let me talk a little bit about Miss Manners first and Jillian's explanation on how to behave as a goth. The first element is behaving. Okay. Do not, under any circumstances, snap back or act rude in any way and say, why are you dressed like that and, you know, Halloween is over or did you just come from a funeral or something? The way is now to utilize that open door to turn around and say, ah, you're questioning this. Do you know about the goth subculture? And it's an open door to expl uh, explaining to a person who is actually quite curious. Because a person who is not curious is not even going to ask you or comment. People comment on things because a spike, an interest has begun, or there's something that has jarred them the right way, and that becomes an open door for you to talk with them and explain about the goth subculture. How you do it is through politeness. The most best way to win another personnel is with kindness, you know, to just kill them with kindness. 
and just dump out that beautiful academia that is inside of you about what you know about music and uh, art and fashion and the subculture. Now, explaining all that to a point where they either are absorbing it or going, okay, that's it, and that's they when you, they actually understand and they walk away. You can explain things like, do you know about the Adams family? Have you seen the Adams family? Sure. Uh, do you know the haunted mansion in Disneyland? Sure. These are things that they can relate to. If you explain those little things to them, the nightmare before Christmas. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Bringing that their what they have to deal with, or their understanding, and pulling it into your bag to be able to distribute to them and say, these are things that I love, and I love to be a part of this 365 days a year. Now, when you have them understand on that level, you're winning over another person saying, oh, it's not as bad. And wow, thank you for explaining that so academically and so kindly and precisely. And have a great day. Wow, I learned something. They walk away. Another very important thing is to educate the public people on the difference between goth and gothic and dark aesthetics and there's three different areas now Kai Dekens does a incredible job of explaining the difference between goth and the goth is all about the music we like the guitars going the crying of the guitars in the background we find the music to be the glue that has held us all together and because of the the music the fashion came out of that and that's where we are today and I'm a big big advocate on gothic fashion I spend hours and hours and hours on Pinterest and uh, Instagram looking for goth fashion um, hey goth brothers if you're out there the girls have us beat I would probably say about uh, 80 to 20 percent uh, if you scroll through um, Pinterest and Instagram over 80% of the, the, the people that create sites on there, hey, are goth sisters, and they revel in goth fashion. So brothers, jump in there and post away, and uh, let your uh, candlelight shine. Now, get that 20% way up there, okay? We should be 50-50, should be right? Brothers and sisters uh, doing, the, doing our goth subculture together. Now let me share a little bit more about Kai's reference over here to goth, uh, gothic, and dark aesthetics. Uh, the video, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can see the video, is amazing. I gave it A++ along with Jillian's book. Combining these two together, you will be a powerhouse of knowledge. The goth video that Kai had created was said, well, we have the we have goth, and that is based on music. Gothic are things like um, literature, art, we can put fashion in there, and uh, a whole set of other things. You know, those elements are gothic. Um, that beautiful church that it was in France that needlessly uh, burned, you know, for myself, I've, I've actually seen it. Uh, it was one of the most beautiful Gothic buildings in the world. And now this, the restoration is going on. They're discovering unprecedented things now through the um, arc, arc, I say, archaeology of digging at all that medieval metal and wood. And it's all going to be saved and put in a museum. But that's a part of the Gothic things that we love, right? And there is a thing called dark aesthetics. What is dark aesthetics? Well, those are cute things like bats and black cats and tarantulas and cemeteries, the things that we uh, decorate our homes with. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, one of the best uh, home uh, decorator guys right now 
uh, is the guy with the pointed ears. Give me a moment there. The, uh, the Lair of Voltaire. He has a web, uh, YouTube site on how to do gothic home uh, interior decorating. Cool stuff, right? But explaining to others about our world and what we do on a level that they can understand calmly and academically and with common sense can open doors they wouldn't have. So trying to create that uh, level of fear factor that we often have been associated with to bring it down, right, you know, is very important. So with that in mind, that is my little talk, my little rant there for this week. I hope that you walk away with something really cool from this. And I will be sharing new things in the future here on Gothically Yours, Professor M. And I hope that you really enjoy that. Signing out until next time, Gothically Yours, Professor M.